Hi everyone, just here, gonna move my body and I thought let's just keep recording and let's just keep sharing what I do because in this time I think we need um, all the support we got we have and it's so wonderful to stay connected so uh, I hope you're enjoying it I have Blondie with me today hi Blondie Blondie you're gonna do yoga with me yeah so go ahead and take a comfortable seat and I love the sounds of the harmonium even though I'm only learning how to play it I think it's a wonderful way to sort of send our vibrations out to the world and Blondie loves it so let's just give it a whirl. Stay, stay, stay. Good. Take a few moments to settle, close your eyes. And whatever you want to do with your hands, maybe you bring your hands to your knees, palms face up, just receiving this beautiful energy of this online community. You know, we should be grateful every day for the little things, and this is something that we can be very grateful for. So go ahead, close your eyes, and we start. Just listen to the hum of the harmonium. settle here. And let's practice. Slowly coming up. Coming into child's pose, very grounding pose, very settling. Just notice your breath, your movement. Maybe side to side. And coming up straight into the downward facing dog. Breathe it out. First down dog. So as always, feel free to find movements. Nice, guys. Inhale your right leg up. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, foot down. Right leg. Foot down. Left leg. Foot down. And just settle here a little bit more. Inhale slowly, coming up to plank pose. Drop your knees, drop your belly, cat pose. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. One more like that. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. Come to a neutral spine. Downward facing dog. Let it go. Breathe out. Inhale, lift your heels, 
Exhale, bending your lead and right knee, drop your left heel down to the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left heel. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Keep it moving, keep it going, breathe. And right heel. Inhale, lift both heels this time. Exhale, release. And just settle right here into your down dog. Nice. And very slowly from here, start to walk your feet towards your hands. Well, do you step with me? Nice. Half lift. And then fold. Press down, hands up, hands to the sky. Huge breath. Right here, inhale. Samastitihi, take a breath here. Close your eyes, bow your head. Connecting to source, to whatever moves you, whatever's in there. Take a few moments. Three sonics to start our practice. Hands to the sky, big breath. Bow as you exhale, breathe out. Half lift, lengthen. Hands down to the mat, step your feet back, on or off your knees, lower down your push up. Off the or baby cobra as you inhale and open, downward facing dog as you exhale. Let it go here. Breathe. Settle. Lift your heels, stand your knees, look forward, step or hop. Halfway lift, lengthen, and then fold. Pressing down, rise up, hands to the sky, big breath. Right here, inhale, bow as you exhale, fold. Halfway lift, lengthen, hands to the mat, step your feet back, on or off your knees, lower down, no push up. Up, lower baby cobra, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Nice, and just settle here into your breath. Breath in. Breath out. Last breath in. Full breath out. Lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale as you fold. Press down, rise up. Inhale, one last on salutation, guys. Bow as you exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Hands to the mat, step or jump. High to low, push up on the exhale, lower down. Up, lower baby cobra. Inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Settle into your down dog one more time. Good. All right, we're gonna move on. So slowly. Lift your right leg up with a big breath in. Go ahead, bend your knee, peel open your hip. Maybe circle your ankle, maybe circle your hip. Just a little bit of movement here. Maybe you straighten your knee and then bend it. And then slowly, using your core, step your right foot right in between your hands. Drop your left knee down to the mat and come on up, hands to the sky. Breathe, settle. If you want to bring your palms together to touch, go back if it feels good, go for it. Good. Take one more big breath in right here. Inhale. Exhale slowly. Bring your hands to your hips, making fists, and slowly lift up into crescent lunge. Set up here. So engage your core. You're here. You're present. Nice, guys. Breath in. Keep that breath. Breath out. Last breath in. Full breath out. We're gonna flow. Inhale slowly, bend, drop your knee, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands to your hips. Come on up, breathe out, making your fist. Inhale, drop and breathe. Exhale, make your fists. One last time, big breath right here. Inhale. 
exhale, make your fists. Inhale, reach and receive right here. I know, it's hard work, but we're here. We're breathing for each other. Notice your hands soften your gaze and just let the breath guide you. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, open. And let it go here. Maybe you strain your knee. You settle into your warrior two. Again, remember that left hip down and forward. Good. So aligning the hip points with your shoulders. And then soften your gaze. Five breaths. Last breath in, full breath out. Left hand goes towards the right side. Open up as you inhale, turn your toes. Warrior two towards the left side. We float, inhale, breathe and open. Warrior two towards the right side. Let's keep it moving guys, keep flowing with your breath. Left side, inhale. And exhale. Breath in. Breath out. One last one. We're going to end up on the left side and we're going to hold it. Five breaths. Left side. Again, align your hips with your shoulders, your hip points. Opening up. Really spinning those inner thighs back and really opening up that body. Good. Your legs are super active. Soften your gaze and settle. Last breath in. Slowly reverse your warrior and carve with your right hand down to the mat. Left arm up for one breath. We're going to do the other side guys. So hand down, three-legged dog. Inhale, go ahead, bend your knee, open your hip and stay here. Maybe straighten your knee. This should feel good. Doing exactly the same thing. Take a full inhale, using your core, step your foot right in between your hands. Draw up your right knee down to the mat and rise up to breathe. Inhale. And settle. Soften your gaze. Everything's here, it's present. Everything is here with you. All you need is here, within you. Two breaths, inhale. And exhale, last breath in, same thing, bring your hands to your hips, making your face really pressing right here, and slowly rise, strong, breathing, sensing. Two more breaths. Last breath in, full breath out. Let's flow. Inhale, drop your knee, breathe. Exhale, make your fist, breathe out. Inhale, drop it and breathe. Exhale, come on up, breathe out. There is Blondie, she's down dogging. Inhale. And exhale, breathe out, stay here, reach, breathe, good, we're here, supporting each other. Last breath in, last breath out, inhale, hands to the sky, exhale, warrior two, I know, you can straighten your knee. Maybe shake your hips a little bit, sink into it. Right hip down and forward. Again, aligning yourself, soften your gaze. Active arms, active legs. Two more breaths. Last inhale. 
Your last exhale. Low right hand goes. You're turning, turning your toes, flipping your right toes to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale back to warrior two. Let's flow. Breathe. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale to warrior two. One last time. Inhale. Open. Warrior two. Settle. Stay here. We've been here before. Lots of warriors today. Lots of strength. Again, really active legs here. Checking your hips. Softening your gaze. Lengthening your spine. Let's reverse your warrior one. Inhale. Carwell your left hand down to the mat. Right arm up with a huge breath as you open, as you breathe. Hand down to the mat. Take your vinyasa or straight to down dog. Your choice. Up dog or baby cobra. Down or facing dog as you exhale. Just settle here into your mat. Down dog. Right leg up to the sky. Go ahead, bend your knee. Peel open your hip. And slowly step it through. Drop your left knee down. Coming up. Inhale. Maybe you press your palms together. Exhale. Hands to fist. Coming up. Inhale. Breathe. Exhale. One more time. Breathe. And inhale. Exhale. Stay here. Reach high with a big breath in. And stay for the exhale. Maybe open up a little bit. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Let's flow. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe. And exhale. One more time to end up on the other side. And exhale, stay. Reverse your warrior. Carwell your right hand down to the mat as you exhale. Left arm up as you inhale. Hand up, three legged dog, left leg. Bend your knee, feet open your hip. Step it, drop it, rise up, breathe. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, breathe, moving your breath. And exhale. Inhale, rise. And maybe open. Hands to the sky. Warrior two. Let's flow. Breathe. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Reverse warrior. Left hand down to the mat as you exhale. Right arm up with a big breath. Hand down. Three let it go, right leg, bend your knee, feel it open, step it, we're not stopping, drop your knee, rise and breathe, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more time you guys, inhale, and exhale, breathe, and open, inhale, and exhale. One time only. Breathe. To the back. Stay. Reverse warrior. Hand down. Left arm up. Big ready. Hand down. Three legs up. Left leg. Feel it open. Step it. Drop it. Rise. And exhale. Breathe. And exhale. One more time, right here, right now. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe. And exhale. Reverse your warrior one breath. Carwell your left hand down to the mat. Right arm up as you inhale. Vinyasa, straight to down dog, your choice. Up dog. Down dog. Seven. Right leg up, bend your knee, feel it open. Slowly step it through. 
bring your left hand right next to your right foot, open up your right hip by coming to the outer edge of that right foot and open up with your right hand, lengthening and breathing, opening, take a full breath in, exhale, down. pyramid pose, stepping your left foot a little bit closer, you can use blocks here, lengthen your spine and fold, let it go. Take one more inhale, look forward, micro bend your right knee, step your left foot way, way back, good, three legged dog, right leg up, bend your knee, Please open your hip, maybe you flip your dog if you like to, maybe you circle your ankle, let's breathe here, straighten your knee and then bend it, that usually feels really good on my body, take a full breath in, slowly bring your knee to your chest, Inhale, three-legged dog, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, slowly knee to nose, hold it. Push the mat away from you. Take a full breath in, step it through. Drop your back heel down. Coming up to warrior one feet, lengthen your spine and bring your hands to the left corner of your mat. Try to keep your hips squared. Lengthening and breathing. Good. Just settle into your mat right here. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Last breath in. And slowly straighten your knees. Bring your hands to the middle of your mat. Lengthen your spine. Left hand up. Right arm up. Opening. Setting up here as you breathe, as you let go. Take a full breath in a little bit more. Cross your right hand underneath your left hand. Grab your left, your left ankle. Lengthen your spine and walk your left hand towards your right foot. Let it go here. Two more breaths. Last breath in. And slowly turn to the left side. Plant your right hand. Good. We're going to come into side plank, Vashistasana, with your left leg. Slowly opening. Lifting, breathing. If you like, you can look up. Really engage your core. You can lift your leg if you need to. Take one more. Inhale. Hand out to the mat. Three-legged dog with your left leg. And then step it. Come on up, crescent. And on the exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Feet together to touch. Sink low. Inhale back. Exhale, sink low. One more time. Inhale, use your core. Exhale, sink low. Inhale, hands to the sky. Hands to heart center. Same thing on the other side. Hands to the sky, big breath. Let's touch the earth as you exhale, bend your knees. So your chest is resting on your thighs. Reach the hands by your ears. Hard work here. I know. Two. Last breath in. Sink a little bit lower. Inhale, bring your chest up. Chair pose. This time we're going to lift our right knee up. So take a full breath in, open up a little bit more. Exhale, knee to chest. And slowly come on up. Reach, breathe. Maybe you straighten your knee. Whatever you do, you're here. And then coming into tree pose. Your choice, guys. I like to bring it all the way up. Finding your groundness here. Again, connecting to source. Breathe. Whatever feels good. Sometimes I like to interlace my hands at the back of my spine. But hands to the scar, hands to heart center. Whatever grounds you. Feel your shakiness here. It's totally okay. Two. Three. 
two more breaths. Last breath in. Hands to heart center as you exhale, breathe out. Hands to the uh, sky. Knees to all the way up. Good. Take a full breath in. Make you lengthen and slowly step it all the way back. Bring your right hand down. Left arm up. Opening. As you breathe here. As you open. As you let go. Two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Last breath in. Hand down to the mat. Three-legged dog, left leg up. Maybe you bend it, maybe you peel open, maybe you flip your dog, your choice. It's the other side. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I like to flip my dog, why not? Let's do it on this side. Breathe. But you don't have to. Good. Take one more inhale. Hand down to the mat. Three-legged dog. Breathe. Step it right through. Drop your right heel down. Bring your hands towards the right corner of your mat and lengthening your spine, letting go. Again, it's just you here. Nothing else matters. Take one more inhale. And one more exhale. Slowly turn, towards me, right hand planted, left arm up, opening, breathing, lengthening, and just feeling here. We can come to your fingertips, you can use a block. The idea is here to lengthen your spine and twist from your waist. One more inhale, cross your left hand behind your right hand, grab your right foot, and breathe here. Maybe come. Bring your left tippy toes up, if you feel like it. Breathing, sensing, feeling. Good, let it go. Awesome, guys. Take one more big breath and slowly turn. Nice job. Three-legged dog, one last time. Exhale, step it through. Come on up. Press the lunge here. Exhale, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, sink low. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, sink low. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, sound the city here. Connecting to source. One more, guys. Inhale, high push up. Exhale, low push up. Up dog, and listen here. You want to come back to low push up, come back to low push up. Downward facing dog. Good. Take a breath. Last breath in. Knees down to the mat. Take a child's pose. Press your palms together on the front of the mat. Bend your knees. And bring your hands to the back of your head. That feels really nice. Hands down. Coming in into half pigeon or any other hip opener you might like. So bring your right leg up to the sky. And bring your right knee to your wrist. Opening up here, use a block underneath your right hip if you need to. Open up, 
and slowly surrender. And we breathe here. We let go. Slowly start to come up, bring your chest up, drop to your right hip, you're going to turn around to Jano Shurshasana A, so you're going to bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh, bring the hands to the sky with a big breath, inhale, lengthen and slowly fall forward, try to reach over and lengthen and breathe, let it go. The idea is not to touch your feet, is to lengthen and go back. And slowly release. And left side. So slowly come back. Left leg up as you inhale. Half pigeon as you exhale. Open up here as you inhale. Slowly lower down. Surrender. Connecting back to source. Ten breaths here. start to come up, bringing your chest up, opening up your heart, drop to your left hip, turn around and come into Jano Shirshasana A, I'm going to turn around here, so bring your left foot to the inside of your right thigh, lengthen your spine, good, breathe here, lengthen and then slowly release. Slowly coming up. Baddha Konasana, bring the feet, to, uh, the soles of the feet together to touch. Lengthen your spine as you inhale and slowly lower down. Use your elbows right here to push your thighs um, out right here. Lengthen your spine and come forward. Letting go. Here we're going to find an inversion of your choice, whatever it is. If you're tired then you know, want a little bit more restorative option, just bring ah, hips to a block and just chill here and that's fine. You can always use a wall. You can go to shoulder stand, head stand, pinch up. I have a little bit more energy today, so I'm going to try my pinch and see if I don't fall down on camera. <laughs> All right. So if you want to follow me and if you want to try your pincha, you bring, I, I love using a block to place it like this. You bring it right here, right calm to your bubble thing pose, really lengthening and maybe you just lift your right leg up or your left leg, whichever is your most important and maybe you try some couple of hops here. They don't have to be great. Oh, until suddenly you catch it. There it is. Reach and breathe. Ten breaths here. And release. If you are doing a 
being chill on a headstand or anything like that. Come to child's pose if you're on your back. Soles of the feet together to touch. Drop your knees to the side. We'll follow you there in a sec. Letting go. And slowly coming up. Have your lying down state where you are. Coming into happy baby pose. Bringing your knees to your chest. Grab the insides of your feet. And maybe go side to side. Opening. Take one more inhale. Knees to your chest. Spinal twist, bring your knees to the left side. With your right hand, open up right here. Look over your left shoulder. Try to keep both shoulders pressing down onto the mat. Keep breathing. And then switch sides. slowly bring your knees, your knees to your chest give yourself a very good squeeze shavasana final relaxation let it go try to stay here for about five minutes forgetting about everything letting go and again as always thank you so much for following me enjoy your shavasana don't get up yet just yet just enjoy it. Try to disconnect for about five minutes. And I hope to see you again, hopefully tomorrow. All right, maybe I'll incorporate some other exercises. Okay. Now